You did it wrong. And if I have to call somebody to get them out here to finish this job, I will. You want to, you know what? They're busting it up and I'm calling the police right now. I'm calling the police. Here's how he deals with his clients. Here how he deals with it. Brings a whole crew, whines all day long about how he's losing money and he's busting up a pad that they did wrong. We are back with another one. And if you've seen that intro, you already know what time it is. We got a disgruntled employee, not employee, we got a disgruntled customer, and boy, he wants a free patio. So basically, you already know what time it is. Uh, dude went at it with the jackhammer, and uh, somebody going to jail. Do you want to go to jail, or do you want to go home? You want to go to jail, or you want to go home? Let's get into this right now. You won't even let me explain it. I'm, I'm just trying to explain it. You can't explain her way. You can't explain it now. You couldn't explain it then. He I actually met your wife. I haven't talked to your wife. Your wife didn't sign my contract. Your wife didn't pay the deposit. I, I so where is she know. paying the rest? So I don't know where this wife is at, but I ain't met her. I, I was... All right, so you hear what he's saying? He's like, uh, "Where's your wife at? She's the one that don't like the job. You know, she didn't pay the deposit, and she didn't, she didn't sign the contract. She didn't do nothing. And now you're saying she's got the problem. Look right here. See how everything's running right here? Everything's running at a 45. His wife wants everything running sideways. Let's run this. Let's see what's up. I'd love to because I would love to explain her, and maybe she would listen because you don't want to listen to me. But we do it at an angle because the thing with Concord is if we start that stamp." With an angle, if it moves a little bit, which these rubber stamps, they move, okay? So at an angle, at the end, if it moves a little bit, you don't notice it. But if you start stamping like this, mm -hmm. and then you get down here, and that rubber stamp, because it's flexible, it moves, it flexes, it moves, you know, it's not a brick. Well, you did it wrong. All right, so what he's saying basically is if these stamps, they're rubber, and they lock together like a like a puzzle piece, you know, or an octagon, whatever it is. But if you look right up there, that's his wooden deck. Everything's running at a 45. So he figured he'd run the stamps at a 45 on this Ashler slate. <laughs> it's very common to do. People run it at a 45 all the time. His wife wants him running straight. He said everything in his house is straight. So we'll, we'll get into that. He did it wrong. <laughs> he did and it if wrong. I have to call somebody to get him out of here to finish this job, I will. You want to, you know what? <laughs> oh shit! They're, like, look at the. Yup, <laughs> I know that sound. <laughs> you ain't paying. We're gonna replace it three stars. Oh wait. Do you see what he just said? We're gonna replace it free of charge. I didn't hear him say that. Look at dude with the cell phone. <laughs> He's got it out, man. That cracked me up. They're already recording. He's pissed. We're gonna replace it three stars. <laughs> We're gonna rip it out and replace it. I'm blowing you up online today. Here's how he deals with his clients. Here's oh. how he deals with it. Brings the whole crew, whines all day long about how he's losing money, and he's busting up a pad that they did wrong. They did it wrong. Here they all are. These are the guys. Oh my God! Look at them, dude. Oh man! Point the camera at me. <laughs> Those Mexicans are lying. Ah, they don't give a damn. That was hilarious. Look, right back here, we were rewinded just a bit. What'd he say? Whines all day long about how he's losing money. <laughs> and he's busting up a pad that they did wrong. They did it wrong. Here they all are. These are the guys you want to watch out for. They did it wrong. They did it wrong. They did it wrong. They did it wrong. Uh, he said, pick up a sledgehammer and help me. Look at them all get up. Every single one of those Mexicans got up to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They did it wrong at all. They're busting it up. And I'm calling the police right now. Uh-oh, he's calling the police. But let me, let me tell you something about Mexicans. They can swing a sledgehammer hard as hell. Calling the police. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's calling the police. <laughs> Dude's probably going to go to jail. I, I mean, in, in my state. What did he say? Calm down. Look. <laughs> Call the police. Get ready to explain yourself. Wow. You can hear him too on the phone. That dude's going at it. You can hear it. He's, he's on hold with 911. That dude is hitting it hard. Way harder than the boss. <laughs> oh, dude. You shouldn't have. Ain't nobody getting free concrete around here. <laughs> that patio looks so, nice. What can I say hold about on, this client? On. So this client. All right. So now he's given the backstory. So we're gonna go through it. But remember why he said he ran them lines. 
uh, because he didn't want him to get squiggly at the end. That's a lame ass. Uh, you should have never said that. What can I say about this client? So this client was literally down our backs and necks the whole time we were at the job. <laughs> You know, super nice guy. <laughs> hey, I hate that when they are all over you and watching over your shoulder, man, completely. I don't care if you come out and give updates, but don't just – I mean I don't care. If you're wanting to learn, that's one thing. But when you're pick like, like, hey, is that going to be – is this going to be – is that going to be – can you curb with me? You know what I mean? Like I hate that because everything gets forgotten. I'm sure that dude probably – if he was out there the whole time like that, I'm sure he told him at one point to run him diagonally. At first, very nice guy. And the one thing I've learned in business is that that's a red flag uh, when they're ex like overly nice, you know. So anyway, we did the job for the guy, you know, um, you know, like I don't know if I agree with that, but let's go on. Said he couldn't have been nicer at first, <laughs> the first day. So we go there, we get his job prepped, all that. We pour the concrete, you know, uh, concrete looks amazing. Uh, you know, did everything exactly the way he wanted it. My guys went above and beyond on it. And, um, you know, the guy waits till after the job to tell us that he wanted his stamp pattern to be uh, a 90 degree angle and not a 45 degree angle. And pretty much tells us that his wife is an interior designer and she's going to hate this. And she's just absolutely going to be disgusted with it uh, because she was going for some type of look or whatever. And that every that's bullshit. She d he just wants a discount. Watch, watch. But we're going to find out if Dude actually went to jail. Everything in his house is straight. But if you look next to the stamped concrete pad that we did, the deck is actually at a 45-degree angle as well. Uh, stamped concrete looked great. I have pictures of it before we uh, demoed it. But as you can hear him, he um, you know says, if I have to get somebody else out here to finish the job, I will. Hey. Don't tell that to me either. You know what I mean? Like I'm doing the same thing as you, bro. I I really would. To be honest, my dad would probably be holding me back. <laughs> no, Bobby, I mean, no. Go to the truck. But right before that, that we don't have on a video is him saying that you know he hates the job, this and that. I do have more videos, but I don't think I need to post any more. This one was plenty. Nah. So anyway, so I go to demo it. Even tell him, hey, I'm gonna demo, replace it free of charge, and. Uh, uh, you didn't say it like that, but you did say you, you did say it, but you didn't say it in that tone. <laughs> then he freaks out, and hey, of course he freaked out. You started banging on him with a sledgehammer, but I'm all with you for that. I'm all with you on that. So what that tells me is that he didn't want to pay for the job, probably, and it's as simple as that. Uh, he clearly liked the job because I just told him that we were going to demo and replace it for free. You know. <laughs> You didn't say it like that. And he completely freaked out. So, um, uh, yeah. So all I can really put together in my head is that he, maybe he was trying to call our bluff and think that we were going to be like, oh, well, sorry, you know, um, and then just, I guess, leave and leave him with his expensive patio. <laughs> but no, we were going to demo. Nah, that ain't going to happen. Uh, like I said, maybe a little moratic acid middle of the night. I don't Replace know. it for free. And then that's when he <laughs> freaks out. So clearly... He loved the patio. He liked no. the patio. And uh, it was a very nice patio. All we had to do was pressure wash it and seal it, and it would have been 100% done, and you yeah. would have seen the color of the stamped concrete underneath. But uh, like I said, from the video, you guys should be able to tell, and I can tell, that he's super pissed off. He hates the patio. But then we go to demo and replace it for free, and then all of a sudden he loves the patio. I never heard him say he loved the patio. <laughs> or so he acts because he gets really mad and goes crazy. Yeah, he really got mad and went crazy because you just poured concrete in his backyard and then you took a bunch of sledgehammers and busted it up. But hey, I'm all for you with you with that. But hey, what I wanted to say is I think there's a different reason he wanted to get a discount on this job. And there's a reason why you see this guy. He's wearing a nice veteran hat, uh, you know, a nice button up flannel you know what i mean like this guy he knows what to wear but wait till see wait till you see what he's wearing in a minute like this dude was flossing like little wayne here in a second you know what i mean looking but, like um, Rand looking like uh, randy savage and, and this time and day unfortunately we run into people like that and clients like that uh people that they want to they want to act super nice to you you know they're willing to pay a deposit to get you to do the <laughs> job and then you do the job and they're like oh yeah i ain't gonna pay them screw that they can fight me in court for it or something so you have to be very careful about who you take on as clients and look out for the 
He just said something very important. You have to pre-qualify clients. Uh, just re be really careful. Don't just take on any job because some people will screw you in a heartbeat. And then if you don't have the means, you can't take them to court. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's that was something very important. Be careful who you take on. It's really just neighborhoods. What I've noticed, a lot of neighborhoods get cheap, but other neighborhoods there aren't. You know what I mean? But certain neighborhoods you get in, they're just cheap. Uh, and I say cheap, they don't want to pay your price. They want to try to swindle you down. Stand on your price because that's the price you gave. You didn't give a discounted price. Walmart doesn't give discounted prices. But anyways, let's go on. Those red flags, but uh, lesson learned. And uh, hey, we were gonna rip it out and replace it for free, but actually after the video. <laughs> Uh, he decided to pick up a hammer and, uh, you know, pretty much come at us like a crazy man, somebody that's not mentally stable for sure. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's what we're dealing with now. But, uh, yeah, so that's the backstory. Hold on. Something. Yeah, something don't sound right because you had a cameraman there. And if he would have came at you with a hammer, you would have uh, gotten that on film. <laughs> Different rims. Look at this. Uh, what is that? Anybody know what that is? In the comment section, let me let me know what that is. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's what I was talking about. Hey, I want to see that Randy Savage one more time. <laughs> Look at my guy. We just were simply gonna tear it out and pour it back for free. <laughs>